Now to the manslaughter trial of former Marine Daniel Penny and some damaging testimony from the medical examiner today. Dr. Cynthia Harris told jurors today that in her opinion, Penny's chokehold on Jordan Neely on board a subway train was the sole cause of Neely's death. Penny's attorneys have refuted the findings and claim Penny was trying to protect passengers. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles was in court today. She joins us now live from Lower Manhattan. Darla. Liz, this afternoon, defense attorneys for Daniel Penny have been trying to poke holes in the findings by Dr. Cynthia Harris, possibly pointing to other factors that could have contributed to his death, like perhaps a toxicology report that showed he had K2 in his system. Her response then was a very powerful part of this testimony this afternoon. She testified that Jordan Neely could have had enough fentanyl in his system to kill an elephant, but he died of a chokehold. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office wrapping up the Daniel Penny involuntary manslaughter trial Friday morning with Dr. Cynthia Harris, the medical examiner who performed the autopsy on Jordan Neely. Today, the medical examiner confirmed that he died from the, lax, the lack of oxygen intake technically called asphyxiation. Dr. Harris pointing out for jurors signs of death in Jordan Neely seen in the chokehold video, testifying the veins in his face are distended, purple, and much darker and more purple than his arms, that both toes turn upwards, which indicate brain injury due to low oxygen, and that twitching movements that surround death are clearly visible. It's real strenuous to watch those videos. It's crazy. Attorneys for Daniel Penny attempting to challenge the medical examiner on her autopsy findings. Writing the day Neely died, the cause of death was pending further study. Dr. Harris testifying Friday, I was operating under the assumption he was released from the chokehold and still screaming. But that changed to compression of the neck two days later after she saw the cell phone video. Dr. Harris telling the court, after watching it, I had no further questions as to why he was dead. I'm not, I wasn't trying to like injure him, but I'm just trying to keep him from hurting anybody else. She's threatening people. Over the last two weeks, the prosecution showing jurors Penny in his own words in the moments following the incident, calling nearly three dozen witnesses to testify and playing 911 calls for jurors. There was a guy in the train saying that he was ready to go to jail. He was going to harm people in the train. So a guy who stepped in and now he's holding him down. Prosecutors arguing Neely's outburst was 30 seconds, but the chokehold that lasted 5 minutes and 53 seconds was misused, causing Neely to suffocate and die. Now, Dr. Cynthia Harris is the final witness called by the Manhattan DA's office, which is still expected to rest its case today. Reporting live in Lower Manhattan, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.